Hello there, my name is Amy Erkinswick, and I am running for school board because we need people who are passionate about our children and the quality of education being delivered in our community. When it comes to education, we have lots here to be proud of, but we have seen a decade-long decline in academic standards to which we all aspire. We've also seen a concerning trend toward omitting the parents from important decisions that affect their children. I'm here to bring transparency, accountability, and a spirit of cooperation to our school board. With five children moving through district schools, I've been an actively engaged parent and classroom and PTA volunteer for the past decade. And with our youngest being currently in kindergarten, I'll continue to be for the decade ahead. I have a degree in speech and language pathology with an emphasis in communicative disorders. And this has led to a particular interest in early literacy of course, a critical component in long-term academic success. Through my diverse work history, I've developed strong financial acumen, great communication skills, and excellent administrative skills. I'm a bridge builder who always has maintained highly diverse personal and professional networks, enabling me to engage our community, to determine the priorities, foster partnerships, and promote learning. I'm a question asker, and I'm someone who seeks knowledge and understanding before making judgments. As it pertains to goals and initiatives that I'd like to pursue and why, I think we can all agree that a foundational truth in education is that parental involvement is a critical factor in long-term academic success. And yet, our district has demonstrated a willingness to eliminate parents from even the most fundamental of conversations impacting their children. We have to bring parents back to their rightful seat at the table. One of the most egregious violations of parental engagement is the implementation of a gender support plan, which doesn't require the engagement with or consent of a loving parent in addressing the needs of their child. Parents have to be paramount in the implementation of solutions provided to their children within the public education system. In addition to putting parents back in the driver's seat, we must reverse the decade-long decline in our academic performance. Unfortunately, this is an issue that our current board has failed to acknowledge. As we all know, admitting there's a problem is the first step. To solve this issue, I would start by asking questions. This may sound simple, but after attending and reviewing transcripts and recordings of board meetings, if there's one thing clearly missing, it's questions. As a board, we have to understand what's causing the downward trend in academic performance, and we need to challenge whether some of the current approaches are helping or harming our kids. We need to leverage the experience of our knowledgeable and trained educators, of course, in setting curriculum, but we also must act as a governing body that ensures that we identify bias in that curriculum and hold ourselves accountable for the change when we see that things we've tried are simply not working. We also must exercise our duty to ensure fiscal responsibility by constructively questioning the long-term impact of the critical financial decisions that lay ahead. This includes understanding how we're investing our resources in our district and whether or not they're delivering the expected result, as well as ensuring transparency and efficacy of the ways in which those investments are funded. If elected, how will I communicate with our constituents and involve them in the education process? Well, to start, I believe that our community is entitled to meaningful dialogue with our board. However, what I observe is that while our community is desperate to share their concerns with the board, those concerns are often met with no response. Every stakeholder voice deserves to not only be heard, but to also be addressed. This campaign has shown me the passion that exists in our community for our children, and it's also shown me the real need that we have for true leadership. The extent of the libelous, defamatory, and candidly simply indecent comments that have been directed at me and my slate mates through this campaign showcases the fear that arises from the existing lack of transparency and engagement with district parents. I believe we can do better. As a school board, we can lead our community in productive discussion of difficult issues that model the dignity and the respect that we owe each other as fellow parents and neighbors. I will build those bridges and reestablish confidence in our board and our schools. In closing, I'm a parent who's invested in our schools and I'm your neighbor who cares deeply about the students and this community. We're a community in desperate need of candor, not argument. We need transparency, not closed meetings and harmful anonymity. And we need meaningful connection between our schools and our parents. This is for me about common sense, compassion, decency, and educational excellence. We have to be honest about our decade of academic decline and elect a school board 
that has the courage to ask hard questions and the competence to work closely with our parents, teachers, administrators, and community to find solutions. This is why I'm running the most transparent campaign with the highest number of community touch points.